Okay, I was up at the arcade the other day going through making some repairs. I walked by Gauntlet and happened to notice that it had lost its horizontal sink. I thought, okay, well, it happens from time to time. You just need to tweak the H-hold pot, things like that. But no, on this in this case, it wasn't the pot. I could turn the horizontal hold pot all the way left, all the way right, and it would change the frequency, but it would never lock on. The chassis just all of a sudden up and lost its capability of locking on the horizontal hold. So you would think, okay, maybe the pot's bad, but like I say, it goes full range left and right. You can watch the screen change. It's not the pot. Um, and it was just running fine for a long time, and all of a sudden it lost hold. So in that case, what could that possibly be? Well, the quickest and easiest thing to suspect in this case would be IC2. And that is exactly what the problem was. So I took out IC2 and put it in a socket and put a replacement in, and it fixed the problem. IC1's in a socket also if it focus on it, but uh, I did that, you know, that as a while you're in there type of thing because I see one can go bad also and cause color problems, things like that. So while I was in there, I went ahead and put a socket in for IC1 for future proofing, things like that. And now this is the, this is the, not the, um, the, how do I, I don't know what the name of the sockets are that have the wipes on them, dual wipe, single wipe, whatever this, these are the, the sockets that have the uh, pins uh, and uh, I'm not sure how to describe it, but you can see there and you can see what type of socket it is and you can understand what I'm talking about. Anyway, with the holes, the the, the uh, gold holes, I, I forget what they're called. But anyway, uh, IC2 there was faulty. So I have the faulty one in there and I'll show you exactly what's happening. So if you ever have this problem where it just completely lost sync and you cannot get the sync to lock on, no matter what you do left and right, and you know it's not a problem with your... Uh, board or your harness because you put another monitor in or whatever uh, we'll turn this on and you can hear the frequency kind of be out of whack and what we have here is there you go uh, it will not lock in no matter what I do I can turn the, the whole pot all the way left all the way right slowly left slowly right and it never locks on this is all you really get and you can see the ROM check here of course I'm using Mortal Kombat 2 that I always use in these videos and yeah, it doesn't lock on. So I'll show you here. I'm not even going to adjust the pot at all. What I'm going to do is try and do this one-handed here. And it may turn out to be a little difficult. I'm going to turn the light back on here for a little bit more. Uh, so I will take this out of here. I am going to lift this problematic IC2 out of here. And you may think, what, what would happen that would cause IC2 to fail? Well, there may not be anything that causes this to fail. It, like anything, anything um, over time, it just, it'll work one day and it won't work the next day. So there's the bad one. Here is a replacement. I will take the replacement one and put that in here if I can. Sorry that you can't see. It's not a very good shot. And again, that's why this is the amateur channel. Uh, just a quick shaky handheld cam video for everybody to see. And hopefully I can get this in here without much fuss. Should be able to. I'm hoping I can. There we go, okay. That one's in there. Replacement IC2 is installed. Set this back in place. Here's our bad one, and without adjusting that pot at all and doing nothing else except changing out IC2, here we go, one, two, three. Nope. I can hear the high frequency, not right. Oh, well, maybe so. I thought that that higher frequency wasn't being out of sync, but you can, there we go, see? Boom. So if you ever have a situation on the K7000 where you cannot get the H hold to lock in no matter what you do, um, and you've verified it's not your game board, your wire harness, or anything like that, uh, I would highly suspect IC2 as being your culprit. There you go. So quick uh, down and dirty video for quick information out, to put out there. And I realize now I do need to adjust the 50, 60 hertz pot. Uh, this tube is not the one from the gauntlet. The gauntlet tube stayed in there. All I did was take the chassis home. And this is the P447B for brown. Not sure if you can see that there. Yeah, P447B. So this is the brown PCB, and it has the 5060 hertz pot next to the H-hold pot here. 
Um, oh, let's say each hole, I don't want to mess with that. I want the 50, 60 hertz pot. Uh, see if we can... Oh, uh, there we go. That'll work. Okay, and I'm not going to make any adjustments to color, position, size, screen, and things like that, because this is going to go right back on the gauntlet. Uh, but, yep, there we go. So, yeah, this uh, IC2 failed on me. Don't know why, all of a sudden, out of the blue. But, yep, IC2, one of the symptoms of it being failed is uh, each hold cannot lock on. So, hopefully it helps you out in the future. If you come across that problem, you'll know what to look for or suspect first. Uh, I would substitute in an IC2, but... If that's not the problem, you'll have to dig deeper into the schematic and the circuit. Uh, but for this instance, it was IC2. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more, and we'll see you next time. Oh, I need to add a little postscript to the end here. I forgot to mention, um, assuming also that not only your PCB is good, your harness is good, and all that, you want to make sure your sink is hooked up properly, properly of course, because <laughs> you could have your sink not hooked up right. Assuming your sink is hooked up correctly, then you would suspect IC2. In this case, for any regular standard JAMA game, uh, it's a red, green, blue ground, and then 5, 6, key, 8, 9 is empty, and then sink on pin 10. So any standard regular JAMA game on a 7000, it's always red, green, blue ground, and then sink is the last pin only. Sometimes some games, even from the factory, mostly Konami games, will sink uh, 9 and 10 together on a jumper. Just cut that pin 9 out. You don't need it. All it does is cause fold over at the top. Um, so all you need is RGB ground and nothing on 5, 6, key, 8, 9, and the last pin there, uh, pin 10, is going to be your sink. So there's only five wires on there. So assuming that's all hooked up correctly, and then also your PCB is good, wiring harness is good, and all your other adjustments are within spec, and your, and your pot is verified as okay, then you'd suspect IC2. Okay, anyway, just <laughs> I forgot to mention that. I want to make sure that I got that in the video. So anyway... Thanks. See you next time.